welcome to Streambox Cloud tutorial. My name is Tommy Morse from Streambox Marketing, and today we'll be going over the fundamentals of the Streambox Cloud. Let's get started. All right, so when we first get to Streambox Cloud, we'll be given the option to log in with a previous account that we already have, or sign up with a new account. And when you first sign up, you're allowed to get a free 30-day trial. Um, there's some more information over here, uh, but let's just sign up with a new account go through the steps here so you want to create a username email password and then uh, verify captcha and then a promotional code if you have one and accept the terms and uh, then create an account all right and if you go to your email account that you provided you should see um, an email that streambox sends you um, this is an email sent to me welcome Tom to streambox cloud then all you have to do is click get started uh, you'll come back to this page and log in with your information so log in now and when you first get to the streambox cloud um, you'll go to your launch channel and your launch channel will have um, archived video that you've taken in the past and also will show um, any live channels that are um, broadcasting live video at the time. But let's go to advanced mode. And here in the advanced mode you'll see um, all the live video that you're streaming. So right now I'm streaming um, a simple uh, video with the cloud encoder using my MacBook Pro. Um, it's been going on for three minutes now, um, but when you're here, you can uh, view the item. So let's do that. Click on that. Um, when you click view, it will go to uh, Streambox Media Player, um, which you can download in the download section here. See right here, Streambox Media Player. You can download that, and then uh, once downloaded, you can open up the Streambox Media Player and, and view uh, your live broadcast that way or we can do it in a couple other ways. We can uh, share it to Facebook. Um, there's already a video tutorial that we've created which uh, we'll share a link at the bottom in the description and we'll have also a, a annotation or a link here that you'll be able to click and uh, view that tutorial. Um, play video on uh, media player, um, play on decoder, and uh, you can download the file and uh, you can share it. Um, but right now, we can do route to decoder, so we can just click that. And when you route to decoder, um, you'll add a decoder. You want to note that Streambox Cloud now provides direct CDN streaming, so you can stream to YouTube or Facebook absolutely free. And that can be done in three easy steps. You'll go to your decoder and select live streaming channel. Uh, you'll name it. I just did a test here. And then you'll go, by default I'll do Streambox, but we can do custom for a custom CDN. Um, and then you'll put in uh, a CDN's URL and stream key. Your streams from the Streambox cloud will now be directed to the new CDN. And then you'll collect enable HD streaming. And then you'll be able to save that. And so here's the decoder that we made. So also you can add an IFB server in the Streambox cloud. So in the IFB server section, uh, you can enable the new studio to have live communication with the field reporter with the IFB server in the studio control room and the IFB client with the reporter in the field. The studio can provide the reporter with cues and information. This arrangement also supports real-time talkback and forth between the field reporter and the anchor. All right, and there's also uh, an accounts section, uh, which allows you to add any other accounts to this group. And so when you click on add account, there are a couple of types here. There's group admin, operator, and contributor. Uh, an operator is nearly as powerful as the group admin and what they can do, but the contributor has the bare minimal essentials on the Streambox cloud. Um, a contributor is basically the minimum account required to let uh, a MePro or Streambox app user stream to the cloud. 
and then log in to confirm that the cloud is receiving that stream. Uh, whereas the operator is almost as powerful with what they can do as the group admin. Um, but when you add in a person, operator contributor, you have to give them a login and password. All the other features are optional. All right, and there's also a download section that we saw before. Uh, this is where you can go and download uh, all of our software, or like our encoders, Streambox Me Pro and Streambox Media Player uh, for Windows and Mac here. And then support page. Uh, here you'll get uh, all of our support for our products and software. The last section we have is the FAQ. And of course, means frequently asked questions. Um, this is mainly uh, for our encoder and uh, live server. Just like a few more details to go over. You can also go to uh, our store and uh, purchase more data. There's a couple packages here, um, and you'll be able to pick which one uh, suits your needs. But after the trial, uh, you will have to purchase a new package. All right, and that should be a about it about the Streambox Cloud. I thank you for your time and please feel free to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tutorials.